In a safe little cave lives a scared little elephant named Tembo. Tembo is scared of many things. Loud noises, high places, butterflies, and even his own shadow. One early morning, a fire starts because someone did not put out their campfire properly. How dangerous. The fire spreads quickly and scares all the animals. Zara is very curious. She goes to look at the fire but gets trapped by the flames. She cannot escape. How dangerous. Tembo sees the fire from far away. He feels very scared. He is extremely afraid of fire. Then he hears Mazu shouting, Tembo, Zora needs our help. Tembo starts to cry. I'm not brave enough, I'm too scared. That's when Mazu reminds him that it's okay to be scared. Being brave doesn't mean that you are not afraid, says Mazu. It means that you act even though you are afraid. Then Tembo remembers that elephants can suck up a lot of water with their trunks. Tembo runs to the river, fills his trunk with water and rushes to help Zara. He sprays the water over the fire and the flames disappear. Zara is safe. Later, as the sun begins to set, it starts raining and all the other animals are safe. Thank goodness. That day, Tembo learns a very important lesson. Being brave doesn't mean that you are not afraid. It means that you act even though you are afraid. One sunny afternoon, Biko the buffalo plays on the grass. He becomes distracted and chases a butterfly. After a long time, he finds himself far from his family. He realizes he is lost. Biko begins to worry. Poor Biko. Layla is sitting in a tall tree when she sees Biko crying. I'm lost, Layla, Biko cries. I can't remember how to get back. I have a bad memory. His big tears fall to the ground. How sad. You don't have a bad memory, says Layla. You just don't pay attention. Let's try and remember the way back. First, Layla asks Biko about the river he crossed. Yes, Biko says as he remembers. It was very hot, so I drank some water and took a swim in the river to cool down. Together, they start walking back and they find the river. Did you pass any special trees? Layla asks. Mangoes, Biko shouts as he remembers the big mango tree. I love mangoes, says Biko as they spot the mango tree from afar. One by one, Layla helps Biko remember. The green hill that looks like a sleeping hippopotamus. The field of tall yellow grass where the zebras like to hide. and the red mountain where the eagles fly high in the sky. Each memory brings them closer to Biko's herd. Then, as the sun begins to set, Biko looks up and sees his family. 
He jumps with joy. Thank you, Layla. You helped me remember the way back home, he says. That day, Biko learns a valuable lesson. A good memory starts with paying attention. One hot day, Zara sees an apple tree. But despite her long neck, Zara is not tall enough to reach the apples. She stretches and stretches, but no matter how hard she tries, the apple remains out of reach. Feeling sad, Zara sits under the tree. That's when Mazu, the lion cub appears from behind the tree. He knows that it's not always about how tall you are, but about finding clever ways to reach your goal. He spots and points to a pile of rocks nearby. Then Zara gets an idea. She carefully stacks them one by one and builds some stairs to stand on. Zara stands on top of the rocks and when she stretches her neck, she can finally reach the apple. As she takes a bite of the juicy apple, Zara learns the lesson. It's not always about how tall you are, but about finding clever ways to reach your goal. In the middle of the South African savanna lives a confident rhino named Jabari. Jabari loves to sing and believes he has the best voice in the land. But unfortunately, that is not true. Jabari wants to enter the annual talent contest, so he asks his closest friends if they like his voice. His friends do not want to hurt his feelings, so they all tell a little white lie. Absolutely, they all say. Layla is the only one who tells Jabari the truth. Your singing is not very good, says Layla. How honest. You are mean, says Jabari. He gets very angry and walks away. Jabari decides to ignore Layla. The next day, he stands in line for hours with all the other animals that want to enter the talent contest. On the day of the contest, Jabari walks onto the stage and begins to sing. Everyone gets annoyed at his bad singing. They begin to shout boo. Some animals even throw fruits at poor Jabari. How sad. Jabari feels so embarrassed. He runs away as fast as he can. From afar, Layla sees what happens and follows him. You are right, Layla, says Jabari. My singing is horrible. It's okay to be horrible at something, says Layla. Not everyone is good at everything. Look at me, I'm horrible at dancing. Yes, that's true. Your dancing is horrible, Jabari laughs. That day, Jabari learns that he can trust Layla to always tell the truth. He also learns that not everyone is good at everything. So he decides to focus on one of his talents, his strength. And the following year, he wins the prize for the strongest little rhino in the land. 
Jabari still practices his singing in the shower though. And with time, he gets a little better. Mazu is a carefree lion cub. He loves to jump over rocks. But he always jumps without looking. One time he jumps without looking and lands on some thorns. How painful! Another time he jumps without looking and lands on a beehive. The bees are not happy. Once he jumps without looking and almost falls off a cliff. How dangerous. He never learns from his mistakes. That is a problem. One day Mazu jumps without looking and lands in quicksand. How horrible. He tries to escape, but it is too late. He is stuck. That's when Silas, the cunning python, appears from behind the rocks and whispers. I see you're in a bit of trouble, Mazu. Help me, please, cries Mazu as he sinks deeper and deeper. I can help you, Silas says with a deceitful smile. But one day, you will need to do me a favor. Mazu hesitates. He knows that Silas is a malicious python, but he has no choice. I agree, he says. Silas wraps her long body around Mazu and slowly raises him out of the quicksand. Then Silas squeezes Mazu tightly and gives him the evil eye. Don't forget, Mazu, she whispers. You owe me! Mazu breathes a sigh of relief as Silas slithers away. He realizes that his carelessness put him in danger and in Silas's debt. From that day on, Mazu looks before he jumps. He learns an important lesson that day. When we make mistakes, we should take a moment and think carefully about the consequences before we happily move on. It might one day save your life. To watch more stories, just visit our YouTube channel. All stories are in the present, past and future tenses, also available in various languages. How great! Also, members of the Abuti Academy get access to workbooks and much more. Visit our website to find out more about all the language learning materials that we have to offer. www.abutisyllabus.com